good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Hurdy Gurdy, at least a virtual version of it. I'm Ron Olesko, president of the Hurdy Gurdy Folk Music Club, and I'm disappointed that we're unable to be together tonight in person at the Fairlawn Community Center, but I'm thrilled that we can spend some time together online to enjoy performances from the two outstanding artists that we had hoped to present live in Fairlawn tonight. Keep watching our website. We're updating our schedule and plan to return to in-person concerts in January. I'll tell you more about that just a little bit later. This December marks the 40th anniversary of the founding of the Hurdy Gurdy, and we're encouraged that this pandemic will soon reach a point where we can enjoy each other's company in our beautiful theater, safe and sound. Tonight, our original plan was to have two artists share the bill for their first appearance at the Hurdy Gurdy, Shanna in a dress and Camp Harris. Now, while a video performance can never replace the joy of watching a live concert, we hope that tonight we can give you a taste of these extraordinary artists in anticipation of seeing them in person sometime in 2022. Now, this is a free concert, but we do have a tip jar. So if you are so inclined to show your appreciation and support these artists, you can donate online. You'll see on the screen uh, the donation links for each of Shanna in Address and Cam Paris. Or you can just donate to paypal.me slash hurdygurdyfolk. Or you can send a check. Mail it to the Hurdy Gurdy Folk Music Club, care of 84 North Demarest Avenue, in Bergenfield, New Jersey, zip code 07621. All tips received will be split equally between Shanna and Kemp. Your support is greatly appreciated. This pandemic has really hit everyone hard, and for artists, it has really been a struggle to earn a living and get their music in front of new audiences. So, thanks to those of you who are kind enough to keep the music alive and join us tonight. And now, let's enjoy some music. Tonight we're going to be treated to virtual performances from Kemp Harris and Shanna in a dress. Kemp will join us a bit later. Kemp's a wonderful singer-songwriter based out of Boston. He's a weaver of uh, American music styles. He's an actor, activist, author, storyteller, and an award-winning educator that who taught in public schools, young public school children, for more than 40 years. But right now, we're going to meet Shanna in a dress. Shanna in a dress has been described as your quirky best friend who refuses to wear pants. <laughs> Through her songs, she says what everyone is thinking, but no one else will say. Her performances will run you through all the emotions. She'll invoke laughter as well as tears through her witty lyrics and insightful reflections. Shanna certainly has kept busy during the pandemic. In 2020 alone, she was a winner in the Kerrville New Folk Competition, winner of the Great River Folk Fest Song Competition, a semifinalist in Songwriter Serenade, a Grassy Hill Emerging Artist at the Falcon Ridge Folk Festival, virtually of course. And 2021, well this year she completed the Tour de Dress. She crossed the country on a bicycle playing concerts and raising money for the Pangea World Foundation. She also completed work on her debut studio album, and it's currently released to her Patreon fans, but it will be available to all in early 2022. We're going to hear a few songs from it tonight, I am sure. So sit back, relax, and give a warm welcome to Shanna in a Dress. Hey you guys! I'm so excited to hang out at the Hurdy Gurdy Folk Club today. Although, clearly, we're virtual. And I was really excited to get to hang out with Kemp Harris, but now I can watch and like re-watch over and over, hopefully. So, uh, my name's Shanna in a dress. I'm gonna play some songs off my new record today and some songs that aren't anywhere else aren't found anywhere else. So thanks for tuning in and let's get to know each other fast. Let's just skip ahead to the 30th date by the end of this song. This is my online dating profile song.
first date, oh, you have a nice face. It's small talk over coffee, we go over the basics. A bunch of little facts that really don't matter. I'll start with my family, end with the data. Older brothers, one's in tech, one's a chiropractor. My family's from Buffalo, but that's not where I grew up. Went to school at UVA, wahoo, I got my BA. That was an expensive way to make good friends. I'm a seven on the Enneagram. I have a 67 and a half inch wingspan. My birthday is 219. I'm on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces, but neither match much. Play five instruments, but only one of them well. I'm a size 10 shoe, and I never tell my middle name. I have two eyes and one persistent cough, and 10 toes only because they cut the 11th one off. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want to go out with me? on the basketball court but walking with the dog is my favorite sport i do cat and cow and yoga if it makes me sweat and i go down rabbit holes on the internet by now you know what i look like when i'm not dressed fancy that i don't like to drink unless it tastes like candy and i could be a vegetarian if it weren't for chicken wings i put frank's red hot on everything by people touching their eyes. I'm a realistic romantic who loves surprises. I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift. Someday we'll co-write a song. She doesn't know I exist. Maybe pass this one along. Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna go out with me? Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna go out with me? We've been hanging a few months. Maybe we'll make it. Things I should have said up front, but I guess I waited. I didn't date till really late in life. I think marriage is a sham, but I still want to be a wife. I think I want kids because I like them a lot, but I'm afraid I can't afford them unless my career takes off. But if it does, maybe it's okay if I don't have them. I'm afraid of childbirth and leaking outside the bathroom. It'd be a bonus if you could balance out my stingy boss, which is this guitar. I'll only marry for love. I'm not shallow, but I can't deny that my pockets are. Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna go out with me? Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna go out with me? Let's set it straight, it's like the 28th date. By now you know my clock runs 10 minutes late. And I burn what I cook, and I never make the bed. But if you're still listening, maybe I haven't scared you yet. I twist and break my hair, it drives people crazy. I'm messy, and I'm the best at procrastinating. Do my half of the chores less than a quarter of the time. But I'll forgive your weaknesses if you overlook mine. I can be immature, but it's not always bad. I'll get you to laugh and flash you when you're sad. Got a good brain on my shoulders, a good heart in my chest. If you can stimulate those, I'll let you stimulate the rest. Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna go out with me? Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna go out with me? What if this song was like COVID-19 and it spread across the nations and they'd all know me? And when they lifted the quarantine, I'd be overwhelmed with applications, need a committee to screen, so don't apply if you just love 45 and if you're not into my music this is never gonna jive think this could be a good way to save some time if you like wacky songwriters i could be your bride do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna go out with me do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna go out with me just so you know just to give you the feeling of this being live, I'm not redoing any of this. So when you hear those little buzzy guitar accident moments and you think, huh, I wonder why she didn't redo it. Well, it's just to give you that authentic live experience. <laughs> um, hey, so for those of you that I haven't met before, um, I always tell people the story of how I became Shanna in a dress, which is a short story. Um, I, I like wearing dresses, and I used to perform as Shanna Whore, as in the Whore family, which is great. 
it's an awesome stage name. Um, if you don't want anyone to come to your shows because they're all terrified. Although, I can't say I don't terrify them after I sing either. But I had this funny thing happen the other day where I was downloading the Insight Timer meditation app and um, they were like, we like to use real names here at Insight Timer. So um, tell us your first and last name. And I typed in Shanna Hoare and it wouldn't let me go to the next page because it said no offensive words. So this is part of the trials and tribulations of being a whore and growing up a whore. Although I secretly love it. If I got married, I'd probably keep my name <laughs> or make it Shannon in a dress. I don't know. That'd be a long, weird last name maybe. But this summer I biked across the U.S. and did a um, charity fundraiser for this really great nonprofit called Pangea World Foundation. And I was originally inspired to do this journey because of my debut album, which comes out soon. And the title track from it is this song, Robot, which I wrote many years ago and it has come to mean so many different things to me now. But one thing is I, so right now I'm in the middle of a move to Nashville. I've been in Boulder, Colorado for the last eight years and I, I'm doing the thing. I'm making the big move and it can be stressful and overwhelming and sad and exciting. There's a lot of things that it can be. And I notice that when I'm actually present, life is perfect and, and magical and really, um, all of those other feelings can kind of step aside and I, I, and I just feel good. And when I'm not present, it's really easy for me to go through life, going through the motions. And that, um, this song is kind of a, a nod to when I'm in that space and um, how much it's really depriving me um, compared to being present. Love and I remember 
remember feeling once But the dream gets hazy as the days go on What I would give to feel like I'm a robot For the next song, I'm gonna switch instruments on ya. So, one of my one of my favorite songs on the debut album is this song. It was inspired by my ability to think and believe completely opposite thoughts at the exact same time. So, usually there's this really nice audience sing-along part in the middle, so. If you are up for singing along at home, that would be awesome. Or you could just not and say you did, because we're stinking virtual because of that darn virus. <laughs> Potter while time tick-tocks pulling me apart and it's hard to pick who I want to be when I'm everything and nothing I'm anything in between oh everyone's better than me I can't help but compare and they're all better than me Everyone's better than me I think I'm better than everybody And all I ever think about is myself I hate how all I think about is myself oh, All I ever think about is myself but When's the last time I took time for myself? Oh, I flip up, I'm a teeter-totter While time tick-tocks, pulling me up harder And it's hard to pick who I want to be When I'm everything and nothing, I'm anything in between, oh about money but I don't care about money but I can't do that and I can't do that cause I need money oh, I flip flop I'm a teeter totter while time tick tocks pulling me up harder and it's hard to pick who I want to be when I'm everything and nothing I'm anything in between oh I want to change as much as I want to stay the same But I can't get very far 
But I'm so lazy, I'm so lazy, but I work so hard. Nothing. Oh, I flip flop. I'm a teeter totter while time tick tocks, pulling me apart. And it's hard to pick who I wanna be when I'm everything and nothing. I'm anything in between. Oh. So that song is on it's actually out on spotify already as a it was kind of like a sneaker sneaker single look i didn't tell anyone about it i just put it out there so if you want to hear the produced version off the record that one's out now which is exciting my recorded world is kind of embarrassing to me because i've been playing live and writing songs for um 12 years maybe maybe 13 and I finally have my debut album coming out because it's just taking me a really, really long time to get recorded music out in the world. I've been doing the YouTube thing and the live show thing for a long time, but I finally have this fully produced album by um, Megan Burt and Cinder Sound Studio in Longmont, Colorado, and I can't wait to, for people to hear it. So thank you, Kemp, for giving me the opportunity to share these tunes with your people. And I'm so excited for your set. I hope we get to collaborate in, in real life next time we see each other. I love, love what Kemp does. And um, I, I first met him or was introduced to his music on the, I think it was the Nerfa Folk DJ Virtual Showcase last year during the pandemic. And I saw him and thought, oh, be my friend, make music with me. I love this. I, I love this. So um, perhaps an odd pairing, but I love what he does. And I, what am I going to play for you? I'm going to do, oh. All right, yeah, that was kind of slow. Let's take it up a notch. This year I've been writing a song a week uh, until I did the bike tour, then I kind of fell off the wagon. But this is one of my favorites uh, that came out of my song a week project. I was challenged to write a song inspired by Letter Jacket. And so I came up with a, a story pretending I, I'm the high school quarterback with a crush on the goth girl. It's called Undercover Lover. Jackie had pom-poms and big blonde hair. I can send a spiral past a 50-yard fence. Prom king, prom queen, that's what they all see together because everyone said it just made sense. From the back of the classroom, black hoodie, thick bangs, nose ring, Sarah's got me hooked in her chain. I got an undercover lover in the back of the bleachers because I like the way she back talked the English teacher. Got a varsity letter over the spot on my chest where her dark soul dug a hole and built a little nest. Oh, she gets me unlike any other. My undercover lover. I was chewing bazooka when she popped my bubble. That girl in the back who loves eyeliner in trouble. Looked at me once and I was a goner. Left my jacket at school along with my honor. If Jackie knew she'd go public 
conflict with her trauma She don't love me half as much as she loves the drama I got an undercover lover in the back of the bleachers And purple mascara and a rock and roll t-shirt Got a varsity letter over the spot on my chest Where her dark soul dug a hole and built a little nest Oh, she gets me unlike any other Cover lover. Party kid, decent grades, MVP, clean shape. You never know it from the look on my face. But my heart is revving like a Harley engine anytime Sarah walks into the place. I got an undercover lover in the back of the bleachers. Cause I like the way she back talked the English teacher. Got a varsity letter over the spot on my chest Where her dark soul dug a hole and built a little nest Oh, she gets me unlike any other My undercover lover My undercover lover That one's always fun to play. So this song was born from my travels in those pre-pandemic ages. Playing cards, cheap blue drinks, sprawled out on my hostel bed. Can you play poker? He asked after Google Translate told me what he said. I didn't have to speak his language to notice he liked my legs. I may have walked by a few more times to organize my bags. We went out in the city street, lights so pretty, found a penny on the path, threw it over his back, and he wished the night would never end. What it was, what it was, and what it was, was perfect. Twenty hours in Prague and oh, oh, it was worth it. Strobe light, body heat, we found a spot to dance. Played hard to get as long as I could for a 12 hour romance, which isn't very long. And his hands slipped through the cutouts on the sides of my black dress, giving me goosebumps on my stomach as sweat dripped down my neck. Oh, we went out in the city street, lights so pretty, found a penny on the path, threw it over his back, and he wished the night would never. That song is called 20 Hours in Prague. I always wondered if the guy who inspired that song has heard it. There was one time where um, he commented on something I did, or, or he liked a post that I did on my Facebook music page. And I thought, oh my gosh, has he seen it? But I hadn't recently posted the song or anything, so who knows? I don't know. But... That's what happens when you write a lot of confessional autobiographical things. You just 
put yourself out there for people to know all the inner workings of this. I'm going to play you um, the song that has turned out to be um, one of my most requested at the end of each song or at the end of each performance I do on tour. I try to ask, like, hey, what were your favorites? Let me know because I write too many songs. It's hard to keep track of which ones are resonating with people. And um, this one has by far been the, the winner at least for the last summer. And it was inspired by a woman named Shelly who I took care of um, when she was 37 after she'd been paralyzed for the last 20 years in a, from a car accident. And man, she had her whole routines down and I was the overnight shift caregiver and there was so much to be learned from that position. I'm, I'm like super physical, I think in life. I, you know, I just biked across the U S and I was a fitness instructor and a personal trainer in college. And I'm just highly motivated by mobility and, um, activity and to look at the world through Shelly's eyes and what was available to her and what wasn't and all of the things that I take for granted far beyond walking and um, playing sports or things like that um, really just hit my heart in a new place. And this is the song I wrote for her. Mascara lashes get every last bit out of the tube. Blow her hair dry, it's so thick it takes forever to do. Fasten her wrist braces, medications on her tongue. Living in a chair makes morning care. Extra long, and I'd ask her, Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Are you ready, Shelly? Are you ready to go? And she says, Look down at your fingers, there's something I want you to. She knows. And I look down at my fingers and do my best to remember. I got one to catch a ride to San Francisco. One to point when I'm dancing the disco. One to lift when I get cut off. Thank you. 
She said, I can't use my fingers anymore. But thank you for lending me yours. Last night I got a call. 12 a.m. I learned that Shelly's on the other side Dancing And running her fingers through the sand Oh, I've had a lot of jobs But the one that changed me most be in Shelly's hands She was ready She was ready to go She was ready She was ready to go So that song can be found on my live album, which I give away digitally to anyone who signs up, anyone who wants one, over at shannonaddress.com. Just tell me where to send it, sign up for the shenanigans mailing list, and um, I will send that song and that whole performance from that night your way, which was really, really fun. All right, I think we should follow that one with a fun one. What do you think? I just found I've been moving today and I just packing for my move and I found this big long list of songs that I have written that, oh yeah, I just told you we should do a fun one. I'm like, I have all these good ballads that I never get to play and maybe I can play you a ballad. Mm-mm-mm. You know what? It wouldn't really be a Shannon performance if you guys didn't get to hear this one. So here is my song about how to turn on a woman. If you know it already, sing along. Oh, baby, last night was so good. You were amazing. I can still picture it all right now. The way you brought in the groceries, the way you took out the trash, the way you remember to feed the cat. Then you unloaded the dishwasher Mm. And when I got home from work You had dinner on the table I wanted you for dessert I don't need a man with a face like Brad Zac Efron's hair, Channing Tatum's ass Sporting a Rolex and a Cadillac I like it if you look like you were a good dad. Mm, that's hot. Mm, that's hot. Mm, that's hot. Mm, that's hot. So hot. Mm, that's hot. Mm, that's hot. Mm, that's hot. I like your dad bod. And oh, I can feel it. It's so hard and so smooth. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You finally sanded the table in the living room. And I got hot and bothered. When you answered my text right away. 
Then I got really tired. And you said those magic words. Okay, not today. Oh, I don't need a man with a face like red. George Clooney hair, Channing Tatum's abs. Sporting a Rolex and a Cadillac. Yeah, I like it if you look like you would be a good dad. Mmm, that's hot. Mmm, mm, that's hot. Mmm, that's hot. That's hot, so hot. Mm, that's hot. Mm, mm, that's hot. Mm, that's hot. And you have a good job. And I love how I don't have to babysit you at parties. Cause ladies, we all know that's the worst. They say nice guys finish last and they're right. You always let me come first. Woo! I don't need a man with a face like that. Sad cat front. Channing Tatum's abs Sporting a Rolex and a Cadillac I said I like it if you look like you would be a good dad Yeah, mm, that's hot mm, mm, That's hot, so hot mm, That's hot mm, mm, That's hot, so hot mm, That's hot Add this to your lovemaking playlist mm, That's hot I like your dad bod I wrote that song with my good friend, Caitlin Cannon. Check out the project she's in right now with Alice Wallace. They're called Side Pony and they are a riot. They're a fun like country duo thing they got going on and I just love them. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. I hope we can stay connected in the future and thank you so much to Ken Paris. I as I said before, really wish this was an in-person Coville, but I'm grateful to share the stage with you in any way. I think you're marvelous. And I'm going to play this one for you guys. Just, I wrote it really as a reminder to me that everyone's going through a struggle that you know nothing about. And um, the best we can do is wish goodness on on everyone you encounter and... This is, I think, the closing track to my debut album, and I'm really feeling it today. So thanks for listening. I'm Shannon Address, and have a marvelous rest of your day. Corner table, read in your book. Wrinkled forehead, worn outlook. You seem unhappy, and I don't know why. Maybe you fought in World War II. Maybe your childhood was sad and confused. Maybe you've got a wife, or maybe you've lost her. Maybe your life has been hard as can be. Just stop by to get a cup of coffee. Maybe you don't ever feel seen, but I see you. And I hope you find a Franklin in your pocket. I hope you find the love you've always wanted. And I hope you have a great day, great year. Great life. You walk in, stunning face, mascara, lashes, not a hair out of place. You look so perfect, like it's all been easy. But maybe your heart has just been broken. Every wound you've healed, reopened, it's taken all you have to just get by. Maybe you think nobody sees your pain. One moment and life got rearranged. Maybe you're in your final days. But I see.
There's a lot of life to live, a lot of love to give, and I'm sending some your way. There's a lot of life to live, a lot of love to give, and I'm sending some your way. There's a lot of life to live, a lot of love to give, and I'm sending some your way. Shanna in a dress. Oh, Shanna, thank you so much for that wonderful performance. And thanks to all of you for watching. Uh, we have more coming up. By the way, you can look for Shanna's new album, Robot, which will be released early in 2022. And you can learn more about Shanna and also download her live album for free. It's at her website, shannainadress.com. Well, coming up next, as we originally planned when tonight's show was supposed to be a live performance at the Fairlawn Community Center, Kemp Harris. But first, a reminder, this is a free concert, but we do have a tip jar, and if you are so inclined to show your appreciation and support these artists, it would be gratefully appreciated. You can donate online at paypal.me slash hurdygurdyfolk, or you can send a check Make it out to the Hurdy Gurdy Folk Music Club and mail it to uh, 84 North Demarest Avenue, Bergenfield, New Jersey, zip code 07621. Now, all tips will be split equally between Shanna and Kemp. Your support is greatly appreciated. This pandemic has really hit everyone hard. But for artists, it has been a real struggle to earn a living and get their music in front of new audiences. So... Our thanks to you for watching tonight, and to those of you who are kind enough to help keep this music alive. Well, speaking of keeping the music alive, the Hurdy Gurdy has plans to return to in-person concerts in, at the Fairlawn Community Center in January. As I mentioned earlier, December marks our 40th anniversary, and our next scheduled show in our lovely theater will be on Saturday, January 8th, when we present... Mike Agronoff. And then on Saturday, March 5th, 2022, we're going to welcome Hubby Jenkins to our stage. Hubby is one of the founding members of the Carolina Chocolate Drops. We also have James Lee Stanley scheduled on April 9th for a concert that was rescheduled from October. And then on Saturday, May 7th, the one and only Christine Lavin returns to the Hurdy Gurdy. And I'm very excited to announce that on Saturday, June 11th, 2022, the Hurdy Gurdy will close out our season with Tom Paxton and the Don Wands. Tom Paxton along with John Vesner and Don Henry. It's going to be a great evening, a great season, and there'll be more concerts added. So please be sure to check out our website at hurdygurdyfolk.org and sign up for our mailing list. And right now, let's head up to Boston for a performance from our next guest, Kemp Harris. Kemp was born in segregated Edenton, North Carolina and transplanted to Massachusetts where he bounced between relatives' homes. He discovered a talent that has come to define him as both a person and an artist. He began writing songs at 14, recording them in college using a, a pair of old cassette players to track parts. And he's been delighting music lovers ever since with his earthy, soulful creations. Kemp honed his powerful, intimate performance style in Cambridge's coffee houses, 
developing into a, a really a magnetic frontman who has shared stages with artists such as Coco Taylor, Gil Scott Heron, Taj Mahal. He's composed original music for the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater and Complexions Contemporary Ballet. He established a, a songwriting residency at Boston's Wine Theater, and recently he delivered a series of master classes at Berkeley College of Music on the subject of artists as activists, alongside Chad Stokes of the band Dispatch and members of the dance troupe Urban Bush Women. And Kemp is also an actor. He's appeared in feature films such as Bleed for This, Next Stop Wonderland, and the Showtime series Smilf, as well as a coveted spot in the WGBH PBS television storytelling series Stories from the Stage. Kemp's musical style really cannot be pigeonholed. Like Shanna, Kemp is a keen observer. He has a gift for sharing stories and reminding us of what it means to be alive. The message he delivers is human connection and spreading love. Let's spread a little love right now. Please welcome Kemp Harris. Hey everybody, my name is Kemp Harris and I have been looking forward to a road trip down to New Jersey to play at Hurdy Gurdy. I was going to bring my drummer and my harmonica player, and I'm still going to do that, 2022. Uh, but tonight it's just me and this piano, and I'm going to play you some songs. This first song is called Edington. It's about my hometown in North Carolina. And I remember as a kid, the signs that said white only, colored only, and uh, this song is about my look back on that town. Every Monday morning, a white man's at the door. Insurance cost a quarter a week, who could ask for more? Movie show in the evening, my whole family's there. Climb the fire escape to the balcony, cause it sure is nice up there. Back in Edenton. Back in Eden time, everybody knew their place, everyone had a smile on their face. Back in Eden time, back in Eden time, I'll take care of you and you'll take care of me. Mama standing in the front yard, little kids are jumping rope. She's thinking about things she's seen, hope we never know. People walking in the evening, and everybody seems so kind. They say, good evening, how you doing? And I say, I, I guess I'm doing fine. But back in Edenton, back in Edenton, Everybody knew their place Everyone had a smile on their face Back in Edenton Back in Edenton I always knew just where I was supposed to be And some said it was easier Some people said it was easier Just keep smiling, it's easier it was easier I've been away so long now And that insurance man left town And those quarters, they don't mean nothing Grandma's house is all burned down But back in Edenton Back in Edenton Everybody knew their place Everyone had a smile on their face Back in Edenton Back in Edenton I'll take care of you And you'll take care of me I never knew, I never knew 
knew that I stayed gone so long. Wow, it was easier. Wow, wow, it was easier. Everybody, everybody, yes, sir. No, sir. How you doing, sir? Everybody knew their place. Everyone had a smile on their face. Everybody knew their place. Everyone had a smile on their face. Everybody knew their place. Everyone had a smile on their face. Everybody knew their place. Everyone had a smile on their face. I am uh, a big Joni Mitchell fan, and these next two songs both make reference to Joni Mitchell. So uh, listen, you'll hear what I mean. Uh, this is a song that I wrote called Now and Then. Waiting for the spring to come and bring you round 
again A Joni Mitchell song is on the radio Radio This song's a little more blatant. It's called, I like the way that Joni Mitchell runs those words so close together. It's a lot to say. <laughs> Tracks disappear behind a metro line or train Thinking about where I've gone and could I ever reach that space again but, but I don't think I can take it, especially when you sit and stare And I don't know if you love me, and I don't know if you care No, but I like the way that Joni Mitchell runs those words So close together I think I know you, and when you talk, I know what you mean. And your body fits on mine like a pair of well-worn blue jeans. But, but other times I don't know you, and I can't figure who you are. And your emotions fly so fast, they're like shooting stars, shooting, shooting, flying and dying. self-explanatory. No. 
I don't feel welcome cause here they come marching like we the people with constitutional rights and they call on the Lord with all of his might to strike me down that's why I never stay around I went knocking on the church front door Wow I met a man named Leviticus Quoting from the Bible Wrote a chapter in the book Got a copy in his hand for proof That's why I try to stay aloof They're just God-fearing people With family values And they don't value no family With people like me why I try to let them be I said goodbye to my mother today Wow On the road to Gethsemane Walking in the rain No escape from the lions Let the gladiator games begin Call to the crowd for mercy, but still no justice comes. Only their downturn thumps. They're just God fearing people with family values, and they don't value no family with people like me. Their eyes are open, but they just don't see. What makes them think they're so beautiful? What makes them think I'm so wrong? Don't they know we all can be beautiful? Why does it always take so long? Oh, 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 church and state well there was a man from the government trying to find evidence told me that the love that I felt for my brother was wrong they're just God fearing people with family values and they don't you no know, family with people like me Maybe love will set them free This next song is called Down. It's a little bit lighter. This song ain't about religion. I won't sing about the troubles of the world I got no sad song about how somebody done somebody wrong I'm just singing to you little girl Some folks worry about the government Government ain't worry about you You can rant, you can rave, you can find some other animal To save the government do what it's gonna do And I could be down down, down, I could be down, 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 I, I could be down, 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 I could be down, 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 let me go down. Uh, 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 uh. 
wow, 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 wow. The world's getting smaller and smaller. East and west are cutting razor thin. You got bombs to the north and genocide is marching forth. But don't worry, the south is gonna rise again. Now we all got the best of intentions. And everybody's trying to do what they can. But when push comes to shove, the open hand becomes a fisted glove. So much for the brotherhood of man. And I could be down, down, down. I could be down, down, down. I, I could be down, down, down. I could be down, down, down. Let me go down. Let me go down. Ooh, I wanna go down. Some folks worry about China. They say China's gonna take over the world. I'm not worried about China. I'm just worried about you, little girl. Now Friday come after Thursday. Saturday I come after you. But even God rested on Sunday. But come Monday, you know what I want to do. I will go down, down, down. I could go down, down, down. I want to go down, down, down. Let me go down, down, down. Let me go down. Let me. to be because I think it would be a, a hard road to hoe but this is my pinhead view of what I think fame would be like for me I call this song wiggle my way through the nightlife <clears throat> Somebody come and see me. 
Somebody ring my phone. Somebody left me lonely. Somebody turned away. Somebody come and save me. Save me. Save me. Sometimes I got tears on my pillow when I can't find the way to get home. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just bend like a willow cause I know I'm gonna be alone. What am I gonna say? What am I gonna do? How do I find my way? When I wanna get home to you? How do I know what's right? How do I know what's wrong? How do I get back home? I wiggle my way through the night. I'm working my way through the mainstream I keep watching my back for the dull knife So I wiggle my way through the night like oh, oh, oh. Sometimes, sometimes I got tears on my pillow when I can't find the way to get I uh, sometimes get a little political and then I have these kind of crazy tunes like I just did. But uh, every now and then I, I just want to write a pretty love song. And this is one of those um, sad but pretty love songs. It's called I Give Up. <laughs> Close the door. I 
I give up, I give in, I gave all that I have, and I just can't give no more. I give up, I give in, I gave all that I have, and I just can't give no more. This is my last time. I won't bother you. was about 15 I think is about 15 I heard this album uh, by Tracy Nelson and Mother Earth and Tracy Nelson is one of my favorite singers so um, this is uh, one of those songs that I did not write I wish I had but this is called Mother Earth and um, it was true back then and it's true today so uh, here we go Mother Earth Well, you can hack me all the time, and you may never come my way. But Mother Earth is waiting for you. There's a debt you gotta pay. I don't care how rich you are, and I, I don't care what you were. to go back to Mother Earth. Well, you may have a million dollars and you may drive a Cadillac and you, you may have enough money to buy any damn thing that you like. I don't care how rich you are and I I don't care what you were, I don't care what you were, cause when it all comes down, you got to, oh you got to go back to Mother Earth. has been through a lot and this song is called <clears throat> Good Night America. <coughs> Good night America Rest your weary head 
Remember where you started And all that lies ahead So darling Good night, America Doors will open for you But there's miles to go before you Find your way back home again Good night, America You're looking for some shelter From all the helter-skelter Of this world we're living in So darling, good night America, hold on to tomorrow when all the pain and sorrow gives way to light again. You wear your heart upon your sleeve, but your sleeves ain't long enough. But the tough get going. When the going gets tough, when the going gets rough, so good night, America. Storms are closing in, and you don't know where you're going, and you don't know where you've been, so darling. Good night, America. I'll see you in the morning when another day is dawning and the sun comes shining through. I loved you then and I love you still. You will always have my heart and we'll all keep trying. Yes, we'll all keep trying good night America storms are closing in you don't know where you're going and you don't know where you've been so darling good night America I'll see you in the morning when another day is dawning and the sun comes shining through. Thank you so much, Ron Alesco. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, to everybody at Hurdy Gurdy, I will get there. I will get there. In the meantime, be safe, be well, and good night. And Kemp, we will have you on our stage at the Fairlawn Community Center at the Hurdy Gurdy Folk Music Club. In fact, I think some of our listeners should uh, mark the calendar. Maybe November 5th, 2022. Fingers crossed. And of course, we also look forward to having Shanna in Address with us as well. And I want to thank both Shanna in Address and Kemp Harris for such a marvelous performance. We uh, wish we could have had them live in person at the Hurdy Gurdy tonight, but there's always next year. Speaking of next year, we do plan to return to the theater on January the 8th, 2022, when we present Mike Agronoff. Then on Saturday, March the 5th, we will welcome Hubby Jenkins to our stage. Hubby, one of the founding members of the Carolina Chocolate Drops. Saturday, April 9th, we'll present James Lee Stanley in a concert that was rescheduled from October. And Saturday, May 7th, the one and only Christine Lavin returns to the Hurdy Gurdy, also from a concert that is being rescheduled. And then Saturday, June 11th, Tom Paxton and the Don Juans. And there will be more shows that we will announce in the weeks to come, so please visit our website for details. Again, I'd like to thank both Shanna and Kemp for such great performances, and thanks to all of you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the music, and uh, 
I hope you'll keep, help us keep the music alive. Don't forget, we do have a tip jar. Uh, you can you see it at the bottom of your screen right here. You can uh, make your donation online, or you can send a check to Hurdy Gurdy Folk Music Club, care of 84 North Demarest Avenue, Bergenfield, New Jersey, zip code 07621. And again, make out your check to Hurdy Gurdy Folk Music Club, and all tips that we get will be split equally between Shanna and Kemp Harris. Well, I'm Ron Alesco, president of the Hurdy Gurdy. Thanks again for joining us tonight. Have a wonderful evening, a wonderful week, and we'll see you in January. And remember, wherever you go, make sure you carry a song in your heart. Good night, everybody.